Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another new pen. This is a pen that I have uh, recently added to my collection. Now this is a pen that is very special. It is a pen that I have been, for, the be for a better word, lusting over for a couple of years. This pen is for the most part long sold out unless you want to pay very silly money for this pen. This pen for me is a grail of grail. So let's open the box and take a look. So this is a Pelican M1000 Starlight and you can see there number 268 of 333. So let's open this box and typically with these pelicans you will normally find a piece of card and then another box which also says pelican m1000 starlight so i'm going to open this box and lo and behold <laughs> there's another box so let me lift the lid on this lovely gold box and first off you will see a certificate of authenticity with the pen number and you see here this guarantee in English and in Japanese uh, so that's put away and now we have this lovely box now these pelican Raden edition pens come in a Polowina wood box so first of all let me remove this box from that box it's a little bit of a Russian doll sort of experience but you can see here the lovely Japanese uh, inscriptions here from the artist and the pen name so if I lift the box lid and you will see a lovely Pelican M1000. So if I remove it from the wrapper and you will see there this is the Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight and this is such a gorgeous pen. So this is a pen that I've been lusting after for a couple of years since my early collecting days of fountain pens and as many of you know I, I am also a user of fountain pens and not just a collector. Now this is a mega expensive pen and it's a, a pen that normally I would not pay the such a high price for. However I managed to pick this up on the second-hand market from a collector. Uh, it was new old stock. The collector had never inked the pen from what the collector told me. And there was no trace of ink uh, on the nib. So this really, for me, was a stunning bargain because I managed to pick it up for a lot less than what the original MSRP was but also a lot less than some of the insane prices that uh, some of these are selling for on the internet today. So for me, this is a stunning pen. It's a pen that I've lusted after for a number of years, and I'm so glad that I've been able to add this to my collection. It really is a stunning pen. So the Rodin collection belonged to the most coveted Pelican pens of today. Raden is traditional Japanese decorative craft used for lacquer ware or woodwork. The M1000 is made with particles from abalone shell which originates in the Japanese sea. The abalone shell is placed on the ground and flattened with a stone into very thin sheets. These sheets are then cut into narrow strips and then fixed in varying patterns around the cap and barrel of the M1000. You just see it there sparkling. The free parts are decorated with gold dust, which is sprinkled over the fountain pen until it looks like a star-spangled night sky. And you can just see some of that gold dust there, it really accentuates the pen. Afterwards, the fountain pen is once again coated with lacquer, and then the surface is polished. With the maquillé technique, the artist individually signs and numbers each fountain pen. And this Pelican M1000 Starlight, 
like all of the Rardens, come with an 18 karat gold medium nib. They don't come with any other nib graves. You can swap the nib out if you wanted to and uh, put in a broad nib. Um, that may be something that I'll do on a later date, but to be honest, the M1000 nibs are quite bouncy and tend to write more like a broad for me, so I suspect I probably won't do that. So th this pen was released in autumn of 2014, and it's limited to and a, a limited edition of 333 pieces worldwide but as you can see here this pen really really is stunning so i am so glad i was able to pick this pen up and add it to my collection and i think you can probably see why i've called this my christmas pen um, i did actually get it a little bit before christmas but i decided i would put it away until christmas because I think with all this gold dust here and the glittery effects and the Rarden, it just looks to me like a Christmas pen. So I tend to normally buy some special pens, definitely around Christmas time and my birthday. And so this is going to be my Christmas pen for 2019. And I am really, really glad that I managed to pick this pen up and... You see here it comes with an 18 karat gold medium nib and that really is just a lovely, lovely nib. So I do like these Pelican nibs and for me, I think the size in my hand, this really is a good size. So I do like the weight and I do like that it comes with a piston mechanism and these pelican m1000s typically hold around about one milliliter to about one and a half milliliters of ink uh, but you can see there that is a very good size now i can post the cap if i want to um, you are going to be posting it over the Rarden and over that gold dust and even though you cannot feel that um, because there is a lacquer over there it's not going to be a pen that I'm going to post. And I don't normally post my pens, but for me, uh, I would certainly not prefer to post this pen. And uh, I do kind of cringe when people ask me, especially when there's some kind of maquillé going on, uh, or even metalwork, can I post the, the uh, cap? Because, uh, or even if they just go ahead and do it without actually even asking. Uh, but uh, for me, I just would not post the cap on this pen. But as you can see there, it's a really stunning, stunning pen. So I think what we'll do, we'll do a... Uh, size check we'll do a weight check uh, we'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample so if I just take it out of its bed and put the lid back on we can do a proper size check here so the length of the pen it's the same as every Pelican M1000 so it's about 145 millimeters in length and then the cap is about 70 millimeters in length. And if I take the cap off and we'll measure to the tip of the nib or tip of the tines, we're looking about 133, 134 millimeters in length. So this really, for me, is the ideal size pen. Uh, and I do like it that the Pelican M1000s are actually quite light as well. So the weight of the pen, we are looking at just under 35 grams uninked. The cap, we're looking at just under 11 grams. And then the pen uninked, we are looking at just under 21 grams. So by the time you add ink to that, it's going to be around about 22 grams. But as you can see though, this pen really is a beautiful pen. So this is a pen that I am going to write with. And I know a lot of people will say to me, how can you write with this pen? It's a work of art. Well, it is a work of art. But if you have listened to or watched videos from companies like Pilot even, you hear some of the sales guys there saying that the Makie artists in Japan actually cringe when they hear a pen is being put away in a collection and never written with because 
they these pens are made to be written with and for me likewise it would be like buying a brand new car and never driving it because uh although maybe you would like to keep the car pristine or in this case the pen pristine i just think that it's a bit of a sacrilege i it the pen was be was made to be written with and i'm going to write with it so for anyone that hates me for that then i'm sorry but uh i do like writing with my fountain pens and uh this will be no exception i do write with all of my fountain pens uh so so i'm going to enjoy writing with this pen a lot so i think let's go and do a comparison with other pens and then we'll do a writing sample so from left to right we have the classic pens lm1 in the flame red we have a classic pens lb5 in the kaoseki or metal ore which effectively is made by sailor and is a king of pen we have a sailor king of pen sakura nagar we have a Visconti Luxor Obelisk. We have the Pelican Suveron M1000 Varden Starlight. We have the Visconti Ecstasy Dowd. We have the Visconti Camelot. We have the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. We have the Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay. And we have a Danny Trio Bamboo Story in the Tamanuri finish. Now, let's do a writing sample. So, this is the Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight. And it is a medium and it's an 18 carat gold nib and the ink in here is Lamy Blue I thought I would just give that a try in this pen I'm not too sure what I'm going to ink this pen up with uh, so I thought I would just give that a try now in terms of wetness you'll see that this is quite a wet nib these M1000s tend to be quite wet so <laughs> i used to have a pelican m1000 and i sold it i think it was uh june 2019 and i actually kind of regretted it so i was actually glad when i was able to pick this pen up that i was able to to pick it up because it, it was another m1000 with another medium nib but it was also a very special pelican m1000 and I've always liked how these pens write. They write very, very super wet, and uh, they are a dream to write with. So, for me, I have a number of Pelicans in my collection. Uh, I did let a couple go: uh, an M800 Renaissance uh, Brown and the M1000. Uh, but I'm glad I was able to add this pen to my collection, and as my Christmas pen for 2019. So that's the unboxing review of the Pelican M1000 Warden Starlight. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.